Hello everybody and welcome to our weekly jam session and today's uh, today's happy or maybe I should say uh, bittersweet event where we uh, say farewell to Roger who after all these years of busting his butt running this place it is on the verge of a happy retirement the golden years and so on and so on and uh, it's nice to see that he has so many friends come out here on a beautiful Sunday afternoon to uh, celebrate this event with us and that's a tribute to uh, all that Roger has done and created here. We all love this place because it's, uh, it's got a lot of soul. It's, it's, it's down, down home, down to earth. And yeah. it, it, it's, a, it's a commercial establishment, but it doesn't read commercialism like a lot of places. It's not a chain. This place is unique. And the guiding spirit behind it all was Roger Barnes. And there's a lot of people going to express their appreciation to him for that this afternoon. Um, I'm going to start off by giving him this uh, beautiful ASUS motherboard. I'm sorry, that, that's just a package out of cake. Sorry. Inside that package is uh, something to match the Brownie Awards that Roger has been giving to the uh, jazz uh, uh, prominent people over the years. This one is for Roger. You see a little picture of it on your table that uh, Sue Marvin has created for you so you can see it in close up on the little tent on your table. I'll read it to you because it's very short and sweet. Roger Bonds, Bocce Cellar, Santa Cruz, California. With deep appreciation and gratitude for Bocce's generous support of live music. Signed by the Jazz Society of Santa Cruz. Here you go, Roger. Special K and K2, Kevin and Kirk. And, uh, they'll continue to win what uh, we've all done uh, here in the last 10 years. And they'll continue the tradition that Steve and his group started because there is no Niner games. <laughs> that's what we started to say. Jazz or Niners? That's what it is. So thank you very much, very much for everybody for coming in. Thanks. Thank you. Stay around, Roger, because I want to hear a lot of people give you their, their tributes. Okay, now, wait, 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 wait hold, hold on. We're, we're, we're going to take this in, in a semblance of order. The, the first people to have expressed their appreciation was the Jazz Society, which is us who are here every Sunday. The other, 
major community music group that is down here once a month is the Ukulele Club of Santa Cruz. The, the real UCSC. The, these guys pull in three times as many people as us and they all are playing and singing on the same tunes. So we'd like to have Martin and Shoner come up and say a few words. And everybody. All right. Thank you so much. All right. It's Marty Carlson and Carol Lee, and I'm Sean Dora, and uh, together we all kind of managed to help keep the uh, Ukulele Club of Santa Cruz, which, unless it's disputed, we have it on good authority that we are the largest ukulele club, not in California, not in the state of California, not in the United States, in the world. In the world. We have yet to find a ukulele club in Hawaii or London or Paris or Japan that's bigger than our club. So, And of course, our, our now permanent home for the last 10 years has been right here at Bocce Cellar. It just, it, it, the, the atmosphere here is in this room is part of what makes it feel like a, a, a family. We call it our four-string family. And so... Uh, just to express in a very small way our great appreciation for Roger and his brother for years of kindness and, and, and hospitality. Uh, we, we have this small little ukulele that Carol Lee has decorated and uh, that we've signed for him. So, Roger, we love you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, ukulele club. Great. A wonderful, wonderful institution. Okay, now, besides the uh, the Jazz Society here on Sundays, the Ukulele here, Club here on the third Thursday of the month, we also have kind of a spin-off of the Jazz Society, which is the Friday afternoon happy hour swing dances. And that's an institution that's coordinated by Wayne Dua and Nancy Carr. So maybe Wayne will come up and uh, give us a few words. As unaccustomed as I am to speaking publicly, <laughs> vote for Kevin, the new owner. Very he is, right here. Are you K2 or Special K? Special K. Anyway, before I get into what Roger's done for us, Kevin's got to say a little something about our ongoing activities here. Well, I just want to be real brief about this one because it's all about Roger right now. But uh, I want to make sure that everybody here knows that everything about the music, the ukulele club, the swing dance, the jazz society, that's all going to continue on, and I'm a big part of that. And I'm, everybody, that's all going to continue on forever. So, don't, ever, don't anybody get scared or anything like that. It's all going to continue. Otherwise, his sister's going to send a bunch of Hawaiians over here to kill me. So. But anyways, with that being said, uh, let's, let's give it up for Roger. He's done a lot here, and I, I plan on continuing his tradition. All right. I guess... Probably a lot of you don't know the history behind how the dance club and all that stuff got together because we all met at one time at the Catalyst downtown. Now, when did that quit? Can anybody help me with that? Was that 10 years ago? More. More? More. Well, anyway, we came to Roger and we asked Roger if he would open his doors to us on Friday nights. And he said, well, certainly not a problem. So we started 10 years ago, whatever it was, and then, as we went down the road, we had some competition come to town, as you recall. Wes Anthony and E3 came to town. Roger was good enough to say, hey, listen, let's help out Wes. Let's get the E3 going. So we kind of got out of here, and we went down to E3, and we took on the dance floor down there for about a year and a half before Wes met his demise. And I heard that. <laughs> And anyway, I came back to Roger and I said, would you take us back? Sure, not a problem. So we came back and we started all over again. Then 
somebody came to me from the attic and said, we need some help. Do you think Roger would mind if we came down there? And, uh, so to make a long story short, Roger's been here through a lot of people that didn't quite succeed. Now there's only one reason why, and that's because of the man, Roger Barnes. Roger has been a pleasure, you know that. You're all like family, you know that. Red? Oh well, it's my turn. One day I was sitting back here on the drums, freezing my ass off, the door was open. And some guy came along and gave me a hat with hair on it. And I said, that's the wrong end, it's my butt that's freezing back here. But this guy here, believe me, a few years back, I waited for the right opportune moment to approach him. He was drunk. No. <laughs> and I said, how would you like to have a big band in here? And he said, okay. So we brought the Esquire big band in and set it up right over there where the bocce courts, and we packed the place. I think the big band was in here, what, four times? One, one of them was for Ralston Brown, who passed away. And we had a heck of a good time. Now, this guy here and I have a tradition. We're going to do it right now. Here's our tradition. Okay, that's a hard act to follow, but here's a guy who can do it. Besides these regular features that I mentioned, the Jazz Society, the Swing Dances, the Ukulele Club, on top of all that, there's live music here at Bocce's every single night of the week. And that, that is unique. That's a real, uh, a real service to the whole community here. And the man, the man who coordinates the bands, who does the booking, is Toby Gray. Hey guys, thanks for coming out today for Roger. You know, this is, we all know Roger. He's a, he's a funny kind of guy. He's also a great cook. I'd love it when I'd be sitting at the bar and he goes back in the kitchen and he brings out some little mousse or little gourmet treat for everybody. And the main thing is, like, like Steve said, it's music seven days a week here of different kinds. It's all different kinds of music from country, western, bluegrass, jazz. Um, we even had some accordions in here and things, so it's, it's all good. And the main thing, I really want to thank Roger because he treats musicians with such respect. We're all well fed and he takes care of us. If the load in is easy, there's no steps. You just roll your stuff in and play. God bless you, Roger. Thank you, man. And now, one of, one of the bands, one of the people who plays here regularly could uh, typify the people who get the benefit of having this venue as a place to play. We'll have uh, Cindy Edwards from the uh, Road Hogs. Can you say a few words? Roger is a real drag. <laughs> Everyone has come up here and said, yeah, I asked Roger to do this, he did it. Yeah, this band doing this, you want to do it, he'll do it. Wait, wait. Thank you, it's a cucumber that's singing. Whatever. This is Roger. Somehow I never got yes. I get a cucumber that sings. Really? But you talk to your sisters about me and your brothers. We are family. Whenever they came here, because they come from Hawaii and up north and all over, and we all get together and we have Thanksgiving. Yeah, I feel like I'm an adopted sister, and I really appreciate that about Roger. When I first moved here, I came here for the jazz jams because I needed to sing. Didn't know where else to go. We met Roger and Brownie, and we became fast friends, and... He can sing harmony like nobody's business right here. I don't know if you all know that, but he can. This man can do it. 
So thank you, and Ruby Rudman, who welcomed me with open arms, yes. When I first moved here, God love her. So we were just where I want to, and, and, oh my God, Steve Newman, who shares a birthday with me. Thank you. A few years earlier, whatever. Got Brett and I together right here at Bocce's Jam Session, and I can't be more thankful for that. <laughs> so thank you, Roger. Thank you for having a place where we can fall in love and do music. Okay, before we wrap it up, anybody else want to, it's open mic time, anybody want to come up and say a few words about the situation? You'd be welcome to come up and do it. Going once, going twice, here, wait, 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 wait. going, we, we've got a customer. You know, seven years ago, I had my 60th birthday and I didn't have a place to celebrate it. This man made this space available. I brought my trio in, we had a great jam. This is just one of the many little things that Roger does. They really add up, person by person. I think everyone in this room has been impacted by Roger and owes this man an incredible debt of thanks. You know, there's one other community here that needs representing, I think, and that's all these swing dancers. This is the haven for swing dancers. Peggy, anybody want to come up and express their thoughts on this? Here comes Stan. <laughs> oh, sorry, Misty. So I've bartended here for 10 years in October when I first started working for Misty. <laughs> when I first started working for Roger, I used to read my school books from Cabrillo in the corner and nobody was here. And this is the second time Roger's owned bocce. Most of you people don't know that. He owned it a first time. But the second time, he needed a little extra help. And I hired a good friend named Don Bond. And things got bigger and better. And he could make rent. And the paychecks got cashed. <laughs> I'm not joking about that part. <laughs> and he is my daddy of the West Coast. And I love him dearly. And he will always be boss to us. Stan? Let, let me make this short and sweet, Roger. Short and sweet, yeah. You remind me very much of some girls I knew in high school. You, you never said no. Okay. On that happy note, We'll return to the music. Thank you, Roger. Enjoy a great retirement. Yeah.